Hello everyone. Let's begin working on the zigzag terracotta pendant set. I've laid out everything that is required to paint this beautiful uh, round pendant along with its earrings. These have been bisque fired and I have laid out acrylic paints and soft bristle brushes to paint them. So this, this is black and antique gold acrylic paints. Uh, the size of the brushes are 6 and 8, uh, both round tip soft bristle brushes. I'm just going to be using 6 for painting and 8 is just going to be for the varnish. I start off with a heavily diluted coat of black all over the pendant as well as the junka. For the junka, I'm just leaving the uh, gungru part. Um, except for the gungru part, I'm painting everything else in uh, black. The gungru bead is going to be in gold. So I try not to get any amount of black paint on the gungru bead. Now uh, I'm adding a little bit of black to the uh, antique gold paint. Now if you, if you observe the texture of this particular uh, consistency rather is pretty thick um, and that's how I want to keep it uh, because the next technique is going to be dabbing and what I'm going to do over here is dab a little bit of paint on the surface and I continue doing this till the entire pendant rather the surface of the entire pendant gets completely covered. I repeat this uh, same process for the Jumka as well. So I continue doing this on the pendant till the entire pendant is nice and evenly coated. There you go. Now with regard to the Gunguru bead, this, this is going to be just in gold and um, this for this particular consistency I have added a little bit of water to the, uh, to the gold paint and I repeat the same um, process of dabbing a little bit of paint um, on the Jumka part as well. There you go, I do that for the other earring as well. Just touching up with a little bit of black paint now. And that's pretty much it. We let all of this dry and the next step is to varnish them. This is the product I use. I give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a bowl or a container. And using a soft bristle brush, I'm using a size 8 brush over here. I apply a nice even coat all over the pendant as well as the junkers and let it thoroughly dry. Now that the varnish is also dried, it's time to assemble and if you see there are very few things that I'm using over here and I'm going to be using these two textured beads, terracotta beads. I'll leave a link on how I made as well as painted them. Um, just I just find the color extremely neutral, warm, really beautiful and I think it'll just go with every other color. So even if you decide to paint the pendant in a different uh, color, I'm pretty sure this particular uh, brown uh, orangish brown uh, this earthy brown would go very well with it I'm just knotting the uh, knotting both the uh, ends so that it uh, doesn't move the pendant and the beads don't move I put the both I put both the cords together in uh, to the wooden bead by the way the thickness of the cord is uh, approximately 3 to 4 mm I use my pliers and I make sure the wooden bead goes in. This has to be a firm fit. This helps um, helps you wear basically the, uh, the pendant at whatever length one desires. Make sure the ends are knotted well. Time for the tassels. These are the cords that I use. Uh, I will leave a, um, a, a link below in the description box for a detailed video on tassel making. So um, this is just a quick process on how I do it, but I will leave a, um, a link down so that you can watch it. Um, and if you're new to this, then you'll probably that that video will probably help you a little bit more. 
just using a combination of black and gold because uh, that's predominantly the colors that have been rather the only two colors that have been used over here so the, just a black thread rather a black cord and a gold thread once again uh, for a detailed video please take a look at the description box for the earring hooks now these are pretty simple, straightforward, um, simple earring hooks. And there you go. The entire process is done. And this beautiful set is ready. So I really hope you all enjoyed watching the video. This is a really easy method. And if you are uh, a beginner in terracotta jewelry making, I really hope this method comes handy. Um, so please let me know what you think of the video in the comment section. And as always, I'll get back to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time. Bye.